Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Rogue State Revolution. This is a country manager being developed by LID Games and published by Modern Wolf. Set to come out here early next year, but we have a bit of an early look at this one to check it out and see what's happening. So what's going on is, uh, is we're in the Middle East. There has been a, uh, there's been a revolt and we are stepping in, taking control of a tiny country here in, in the Middle East. Uh, monarchy's gone. We're here. So it's our job to appoint ministers and, uh, and build infrastructure and making sure that people are fed and healthy and uh, and there's an economy of some sorts in our country. I guess you can think of this as a, um, um, a wider spectrum tropico where uh, we're running our, our nation and, and people may or may not like the way we run it. So anyway, let's check this thing out and see what we can do here. We're going to jump into a, a basic game. I'm not going to touch any of the difficulty switches, which you can see things and what they can do to you here. Um, but we'll just jump in here and mess around with it. So this is all, you know, fictional things, and, and it's all randomized each time. All your neighboring countries that you can trade with and stuff is all randomized, uh, as well as our country and where the cities are. There's, there is there is multiple towns um, on our map, and multiple different types of people live in those places. In that we the Sendry to today, happy. there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in... Anyway, interesting cutscene, <laughs> by the way. So anyway, we have our, uh, our 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 advisors here are going to help us out in appointing our cabinet. So we will fill, I think, four or five of these positions here. We got you know development, citizenship, defense, with these group of folks down here before we get into the game. Um, each person has a plus and a minus, and these guys will try to help me out here. For instance, old Aziz here, he's frugal. You can see this up here, which means that if whatever ministry I put him in. That ministry is cheaper to build in because he's a frugal guy. He's also cunning, so he may alter his policies without my consent. So uh, each turn, we're going to go in there and we'll have a chat with these guys. And we can say, you know, go work on better roads or uh, or work on wind power. And uh, he he may do it and then decide later on, ah, I'm, uh, let's work on coal power, that kind of guy. So let's put him in the ministry of um, uh, development. Sure, so you can go get me some cheap roads or something. Um, we've got, uh, I'm trying to remember who I got. These are the same guys that you got each time. But uh, Nader here is inspiring and also in poor health. Actually, no, they aren't the same guys, are they? Uh, I don't know. If they, I don't remember if they are or not. Uh, inspiring, he is, uh, I guess loyalty is also a thing here, by the way. You don't want people to, you know, not be loyal to you. Loyalty is always a, a big deal. He may die at any time or not at all. So leading units specific to his department and get a free upgrade. Hmm. Okay, I'll put you in Ministry of Defense then. Civilian units. Okay, I'll put you in natural resources. There you go. Um, we've got, uh, this guy's popular, but he's also selfish, which means ignoring his requests have a greater impact on his loyalty to me. But he also has increased approval from the public in his home province. So let's put you in um, uh, defense, sure. And she's an addict. She's also a philanthropist, which means she operates at zero cost. I like the sound of that for citizenship. Um, uh, or justice. Maybe justice. Oh, that's all we got. Um, can I undo one of these? Uh, I think I want a minister of finance. This guy's a maverick and nothing else. This guy's res resourceful and a moron. <laughs> uh, extra event options are made available for events specific to that ministry. Pious. Three favor points. Every third turn, the loyalty goes down because of old newer here. All right, we'll take the guy with glasses. He can go into the... Oh, he can't go in there. I want someone in my finance department. All right, you buddy, the Maverick, put him in there. All right, so cabinet has been appointed. Welcome to uh, B Basenji. Let's take a look at this place. It's it's a uh, kind of complicated. Again, it's randomized each time, but we've got multiple provinces here. We got Ramai, Banifa, Saba, Karif, and Karak. Uh, within each province is multiple towns, and you can kind of get an idea what. Uh, how they're looking at the moment. So Saba right now has a problem with health. They're at a two in health. Education is good. Uh, happiness is okay. The, uh, what's the hat? Like, you know, policing is, is fine. Public, uh, whatever. Um, and then, um, I don't know what that one is. But anyway, we can deal with this stuff. So let's come on in here. The way this game works out is we can come in, we can build new things. We can, for instance, build a hospital, which we'll do here in a second. Uh, we can go out and find some, some um, places to build some oil wells. But let's go in here into Saborin. Uh, either one, I suppose. Let's, um, this is Saba as well. Let's, let's put it right here. So you can see all these nets. That's up this way as well. Let's put a hospital there in Gaki. 
Here we go. Hospital built. You may see I have four moves that I can do each turn. Each turn is a month, and I have to choose quite carefully what I want to do that month. So this hospital is giving me a bit of health in Sabah, which will make people happy, hopefully. Um, we are making 90 food, but it's all coming from UN refugee, or not refugee, but uh, aid camps that are providing food for the place, right? Revolution and, and problems. Um, so that has been dealt with. We've got... What's going on over here? What are you? Oh, my power plants need, need hooked up. Um, we can come... Let's do a quick look at everything here. So, again, we can chat with our ministers. Um, and we can tell them what to do. So, my, um, my Ministry of Development guy, we can tell him to prioritize certain things here. Or go work on, on toll roads, which will give me some cash. People don't like that, but it'll give me some cash. Uh, we tell them to build tunnels, I guess. Um, multiple things we can adjust here. In, in, with this guy, tell him communications. We can go with uh, some rural internet access that makes people happy. Uh, healthcare and education because an important guy. And we, what do we want to work on? So I can say I want you to work on. Uh, uh, health was a bit of an issue, but I want to pe make people. I want money. Sell the rights of foreign corporations to broadcast exclusively on certain electromagnetic frequencies in Basenji. <laughs> Um, no, we won't do that one. <laughs> it's good money, though. Spaceport, for instance. Um, I want... You know what? Uh, I don't know if we want toll roads. <laughs> toll roads! Yes. Excellent idea. Let's get some toll roads in this place. That's the most important thing. Um, anyway, and they, and they all do various things. Natural resources, for instance, getting wind power or hydropower. Working on the economy was an important thing. Uh, defense, conscription, uh, machines. Uh, yeah, that's in the game as well. Uh, and then you do... Oh, we casinos. Oh. Tax incomes, minimum wage or not, so we put the kids to work. Um, what's the, uh, ooh, offshore banking? Yeah, yeah, do some offshore banking. Good idea. That'll make us some cash, maybe. Uh, we need to, before we do much else, we got three turns here. Let's go ahead and get a road built. And we got a power plant over here, and we've got a, um, an oil plant there. We're gonna go ahead and connect a road up here for a bit of cash. 11 bucks. It's my cash over there. Uh, which will take the oil, go into the power plant, and then that tower power plant will power my cities over here. And my, my country. We'll see that change in the next turn. Um, we can also go in here. Let's take a look at the capital, wherever it may be. There it is, in Majamara. So here in Majamara, let's go ahead and hire a resource surveyor to go see if we can find Excellency. some oil around here. Which apparently found something. Let's go go take a look at that, buddy. Very well. Mm -hmm. Go check that out. And I want you to uh, just do a survey real quick, Excellency. buddy. Excellency. What'd you find? Oil? Excellent. Excellent. Well, we're out of turns, though. So next turn, we'll make sure we build an oil plant there and get that taken care of. What is this? It's a city. Rastris? Well, oh, not the rivers and things in here. This is completely different than uh, my last time. What was that up this way? What are you all about? Was that, um... Excellency. Oh, you found some stuff up there. Oh, you found some stuff up there, did you? There's one over there. Oh, okay. Okay. All kinds of good stuff. All right, we'll uh, we'll go uh, scout some things around and see if we can find some things. We may have to burn some some you know ancient relics before we get to that oil, but wait, we'll do it. We'll do it for sure. <clears throat> All right, next turn. So each turn, something's going to happen at the end here, and tell us you know it's randomized. Some uh, geocatchers exploring our mountain ranges stumbled upon a deeply disturbing find: a mass grave inside a cave network, estimated to be at least twenty years old. Several hundred bodies that have been covered so far. Most are mostly Karifi. These are our, our, uh, the native population. Uh, we need to reunite our uh, people with the remains of their loved ones, which gives me a minus 8% of their approval. Or we can't afford to add detentions. Just keep it, uh, you know, quietly. Uh, it's possible we'll have minus 20% rating if we do this. Maybe not. Um, well, we gotta tell them. Okay, so not gonna like it so much. That's okay. Alright, so here is Prime Minister Rashid Nazarian. Uh, randomize each time. Saying hello to me. Uh, there's three countries that are nearby, um, and he is from Act Act Axtijan. Let's go take a look here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, oh, diplomacy. Let's look at this. So we are here in somewhere on this way. We have uh, Babelistan, Tragicstan, Tragicstan, <laughs> and Axtijan are all nearby us, and we can trade with them. You know, trade and diplomacy and all kind of stuff. Also, not uh, randomized. The U.S., Russia, and China are here as well, and we can kind of keep, you know, keep them in the works. We may work with one or another. Um, if we get them too angry, they'll go to war, we lose, that kind of a thing. So that thing that popped up there, somebody wants maybe to build a, a, um, a museum in Banifa. I guess it's this guy. Where's Banifa at? 
take a look. Oh, this one over here. So they want some, want some museum over here. Uh, I'm not opposed to that. How much does a museum cost? Museum, 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 museum. There it is. It cost me 40 gold. And it takes workers and electricity. So you can see my workers, how many workers I have available in each of these countries. And power, of course. We have 80. We're producing 80. We need 74. Producing 90 food, we need 75. And we're bumping up a bit of intelligence there as well. I'm going to put it here uh, next to the, the palace, I guess. Museum next to the palace? Sounds like a good idea. There we go. So we've created a museum. What kind of museum is it? Is it a natural history wing for our diverse ecosystem? Maybe it's one for uh, the great uh, military triumphs, um, which makes people happy. The conservatives happy. But this one just makes the uh, environment people happy. And this one, the wing of American atrocities, holding the United States accountable for the support of the cruel uh, previous regime, R earns his favor with the Russians. <laughs> uh, let's go with the Natural History Museum, you know. Make the, uh, the mix, yeah, it makes things, makes everything, everything nice. Sure, sure. Um, uh, anyway, speaking of the people in the place. So, we have a lot of different folks that live in Bisenji. There's a lot going on here. I'll do my best to cover everything here. I'm, I'm trying to do here. Um, but in in the country, it's pretty even at the start. We have the Bisenji. We have the Karifis. We have immigrants coming in. Uh, and this is how many, this is my approval rating of these specific people. They're both conservatives, religious, secular, urban, rural. Uh, as well as um, each um, each province has the same thing. So we can see how many how they approve of us in each different province. Uh, how many people are in each province for whichever province. This is the total one. This is per place. So in Banifa here, which is like the the um, big city, um, big the big province, uh, a lot of liberals, a lot of urban folk, um, more religious, and a lot of a lot of Basenjis. Um, not a lot of foreigners. And then you come back here over to... Uh, here's Karik, which is a bit more... Oh, it's urban as well, and conservative. And then we've got... This is the one that's that's more uh, Karif. Or I just was. Which is surprisingly... Oh, last time I played, it was extra rural. Oh, okay, there's a rural. So Ramai is a rural one this time. So lots... Very rural, uh, very conservative, very very Basenji, and a little bit... A little bit atheist, a little bit religious. And so, you know, basically we're trying to keep everyone happy with all of our policies... And everything else. Um, let's view the budget now. So here we go. We are making. We're spending 100. We're making 106. We're spending 107. We're we're losing a dollar. We can choose where we want to put our money. We know Sabah wanted better health, right? So let's put a point into Sabah. Bump them up a bit. Give them a little, little bit of a, a chance there. Uh, we could take one away if we wanted to, but I have an idea of how to get some cash here in just a second. So I think we're just gonna do that for now. Um, public. That's the word I was looking for. Public safety. We can get a bond, put a bond out, 200 bucks, we pay it off over 18 months with high interest. Let's just do that for now. I mean, now we're losing two gold, Excellency. but my surveyor, come in here and um, you found the oil, right? So let's go ahead and build. I want, you to, I want you to go over here as well. Go check that one out also. But while we're here, let's go ahead and construct a, uh, an oil refinery right there. And there we go. Now we got some oil coming into this place. Now we need to make sure we get a, a, a road going there. So let's build up a road. Connect this guy up. Like that. Okay, so we have oil. We have lots of oil coming in, hopefully. Uh, ideally. Um, now we can choose where we want it to go. Do we, does it go to the power plants? Does it go to the plastics factories? Which we haven't built one yet. Pa plastics factory, that is. Uh, also, we're making... Oh, we're right at, we're actually right at our power generation. We need to bump up our power a bit. Um, anyway, let's go trade that oil away. We got oil, we can sell it. So we can view the commodity prices if we want. Oil ain't the most expensive, but it's there. Another thing to watch out for, by the way, is this one, which is uh, basically just how people feel about things. The environment is kind of garbage. Uh, everything else is, is mediocre. Keep it out of the red. This is how people feel about me. The uh, the rural folks seem to like me somewhat. Um, and we can see all the, stat the stats everywhere. Uh, but let's go to diplomacy and let's have a chat with someone and sell them some oil. Who wants some oil? Um... Trazakhstan likes us. Trazakhstan. Hey. Good to see you again. Well, uh, nice beard, bunny. Uh, I would like to sell you some oil. So I'm going to export you some oil. What do you say? That's me a monthly... For what? A dollar? That's worthless. Hmm. Let me wait until next turn and see if that changes anything. It should, it should go up a lot more. I'll go next turn. See what happens here. Once the refinery is actually up and running. 
All right, welfare of your uh, conservative citizens is something that we remain concerned about. I urge you to increase their approval, says old Axtajan man. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll, 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 yeah, of course. We appreciate it, he says. Uh, can we trade now? Would you like to take some oil? You don't even want oil. Okay, never mind. Okay, we have a global recession apparently being reported. That's a problem. Uh, in Basenji, so we got to get this to what? What do you want it to be at? No, that's just how we do it. Um... What do you want it to be? It doesn't just say what number it wants to be at. Oh, there we go. We're at 37. It wants to be at 52. Okay. Make the conservatives happy. Got it. Um, well, let's uh, let's do one more chat about diplomacy with Tragic Stand. You want to buy some oil, buddy? It says it's one dollar. Well, we'll do it. What do you say? Yep, he's pleased. Okay. Is there really only one? Um, anyway, we need to go and connect to them. Because that was who was that we just talked to? That was Tragic Stand, right? Yeah. So let's go send a road to Tragic Stand. There's the border crossing right there. Let's get a road connected to that guy. And up to my town, right there. These little spots, by the way, are the uh, the, uh, the poor folks that live out in the uh, well, just rural folks, I should say. There you go. See. Um. Let's go and get some some farming going. So we gotta find. Oh, it's probably a good place for it. Let's go over here and over here by Adil. We're gonna throw in a few agriculture spots. Um, let's build. Yeah, ag farm. I'll put one in. They don't have to be next to the town, so we'll just stick one like there. I'll put one next to it also. I think. I think two is probably gonna be good. Like that. Okay, so this number should go up quite a bit. We are making. Um, it'll change next turn, but most of it's coming from these UN UN camps. So we'll uh, that we'll try to take over the uh, the food for ourselves. Now we can go. There's a whole different system of things we can do to make like processed food by building um, manufacturing plants and all that. Uh, we won't get there for a while. So I'm going to lose between one and nine. Uh, I don't want that one. I want um, budget. It says one dollar. Why is it so terrible this time? It was so good last. I was making like ten what like ten bucks a turn last time for my oil. What happened? Anyway. What about possibility, possible resource deposits? Did you? Why did you do that for? I'm sure there's more. Literacy rates in, in the Karik are very low. We should set goal of raising their education there by five points. Okay, so they'll like me if I don't, and they won't. It's loyalty. From and where is that Karik? Karik, whatever it is. Uh, that's this one up here. You want? Oops, didn't you do that? You want education over here? Okay. Okay. Now we're making some food now. That's good. This has we're breaking even on treasury. Let's see if we get some food sold to somebody. Let me build a road up. Let's figure out who we need to trade to first. We have food. What do you want? I could call you. We're already friends with you. Uh, hey, you want some food? Export food. Is this for zero, though? Maybe they just don't want it. We can always bring food in, also. Uh, no, I won't do that. Um, let me go over here. We can also, by the way, we can build. Let's build a few things here. Let's get a, um, where's that? No, it's lasers. Time machine? Launch pad? What is it? Who knows? Uh, let's build an army base. And we'll set this where we have a lot of workers that want to... I should put it in a more centralized spot here, like over here in... Yeah, right about this way. Right over there. And uh, we'll get, you know, insurgents and all that stuff popping up in town, especially when things get bad. They'll pop up very quickly. We can train some few things. Let's, let's, make a, uh, let's make a soldier. And he can come around and just sort of Excellency. deal with things if we have problems with, with insurgents or whatever. They'll come around and break my stuff. Um... I want to make sure we get... Oh, power's looking good now. Good. I think we're using all the oils, what's happening here. Um, Surveyor, can you, can you... Um, where are you? Excellency? Yeah, can you do your... Um, no, I guess you don't have... Okay, yeah, I want you to I want you to go... You know where you're going. You're going over here, right? Yeah, I want you to go over there. It's a long walk. Very go over well. there. And maybe a deposit over there. We can find some more oil. We can just bring another guy out as well. Uh, another thing we can do is we have some of these places, like this one, for instance, has some corruption. And it's lo I'm losing two bucks because of that corruption. So we come in here, we can we can hire ourselves a facilities inspector. And she'll walk yes. around and yell at people and yes, tell them yes. to stop being corrupt. Yes. They are hiding anything. I have found so it. now we've fixed that. We're still losing money. But we've fixed the corruption that's building up there. We can go, you know, find a few more places out of here. Uh, one thing that's very important to do, uh, do though, is come over here and ask people what they uh, what the problems are. Minister Soliamon is so cool. I approve of the Ministry of Citizenship's cultural practices. This is the liberal religious person in um, 
Majamara. Too many traffic jams. Traffic jams. Minister Soleimon is just a great guy. You guys are pretty happy. 50%. That's the most I think I've ever had. We should change the Ministry of Citizenship's cultural practices. This guy's angry. The religious conservative guy. You no, know, he, he can agree on traffic. At least we can agree on something. Oh, what is this? Oh, my, right. That's mine. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, tourism data is a thing as well. We can always get some some hotels thrown in here. Uh, oh yeah, education. Right, right, right. Education in Karik. Karik. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. What are you hurt? You were hampering a couple things. I don't need you anymore, so I'm gonna bolt get rid of you. And I think I want to get rid of is that just the one over. Yeah, we'll get rid of just that one guy over here. So let's over here. Let's get something that can do. Oh, we'll do it next turn. Well, well, maybe we'll review the budget and add some education in, in Karik. We can also build, like, a school or something. Government believes improving in, uh, international climate leadership should be our top original priority. Is um, This is Gazima from Babalistan. Do I, in eight months, can I do that? Um, she doesn't like me. If we can do it... Uh, I don't think I can do it in eight months. Most yeah, I'm disappointed, too. Uh, okay, so let's go and build. Let's look at the budget first. I'm getting six bucks now. We're making two dollars on ex exports. Outrageous. Um, I would like to put some money into the education of here. That much? Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. And we're going to go and build ourselves some sort of school or something. Museum? Museum is good. I think museum is going to do what we are. We're going to go to museum. Yeah, we're gonna go. I think I think that's it. We can build um, embassies if you want, a forward operating base for our our military base we've got back there. Um, I yeah yeah. Let's go with uh, let's go with the museum. You can get people working at this. Yeah, let me stick it right here next to the road. There you go. Oil prices are spiking. <gasps> excellent, excellent. Hey, did you find that oil yet, buddy? You know we're near it. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna crank out another another one of these guys. You. Excellency, I need you to find me some good stuff. There's a couple things down here. That's actually pretty quick. You can probably can do that. I want you to move. Oh, I'm out of turn. That's what's going on. I want you to move. I'll just go ahead and plan you to here. Very well. I need to figure out what that is. Okay. The uh, the fighting goes in kind of sort of turn based. You know, almost like Civ style combat. He can move all the way down there in one turn. Where'd that guy go? Get over there, buddy. We'll find some oil over there or something. This guy's on on the move as well. The thing plays out. It's you know it's very much a um, a, a blending of a few different genres, but you know political sim, uh, empire runner, uh, because especially when you get to the point where you start getting military cranked out and um, and you can go to war with other folks, so it turns into you know a totally different game depending on how you play it. Office of Food, Food Safety reports that recent fish stocks are making their way to market have unusually high microplastics in them. We bear the report. Health is bad. Share the report. Environment bad. Uh, no, no, no. Tell the people. Yeah. Just tell them just how terrible things are around here. Let's see. Let's see. You know, we're, we're honest and terrible. Um. Okay, so we need to get this guy. Are you in range of, of that thing? Not quite. So I want you to get down there. And get over here. And you're going to do your survey thing. Okay, buddy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Oh, I probably need that, don't I? Okay, let me get some farms thrown in here. I'm out running out of cash here, real quick. Let's get a. Um, do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna save my money. I need, I need my oil refineries. Power plants. We're good on power. Um, so we can go with manufacturing plants. We need a plastics factory, which takes the oil, turns it into plastics. Plastics goes into the manufacturing plant with the food, which creates um, creates uh, processed food. Which we can sell. Don't think we sell there. Um, I'm gonna make another ag field uh, field here though. Just make sure we got plenty of food, um, and we can get rid of those. Uh, people don't like those those UN camps. Uh, what do you want, buddy? Thank you for taking the education seriously. Oh, excellent. Okay, we um, we got a new. I have new plans. Infrastructure renewal. As may for power may exceed previous limits. Oh, nice. Hey, thanks, buddy. 
Yeah, yeah, do that one. Yeah, yeah, get on it. Seven months, he'll have it done. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so we have turns left. Um, let's build a... Uh, did, I, did I build a hotel? Did I never get that thing done? What did I build? Oh, I built a museum. That's right. Let's build a hotel. Oh, I can't afford a hotel. Hotels are expensive. <laughs> uh, um... Hotels, you can get money from hotels. And it depends on what's around them. So if you have a hotel, you know, you put museums and beach resorts and all that around them, and then people will give you more money for staying there. Um, this will help the religious. We're hoping to try, trying to help the conservatives. Which, which usually goes hand in hand. Um, where are the where are the conservatives? It was in one region, right? It was in... That I was trying to make happy. Oh, just in Bisenji, just in general. Okay, let's make some hacks like us more. Who cares what they think? Would you guys like some oil? Not there's anything that they want. All right, um, never mind you. All right, you already already working with you, right? With with uh with the oil. Oh, oil. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. It says zero, but um, hopefully it goes up more than that. We do need to uh, get some borders with them, which was be that was. Oh, that was Trash Town, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're already good with you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this road up here, though. Make sure we get road built like that. There we go. Get you guys connected up. And let's go ahead and get rid of some of these camps here, because people don't like this. What do you guys say? Mr. Suleiman is just cool. Yeah, he's great. And traffic jams. That guy, that guy is fantastic, I guess. Okay, let's go one more, one more month here. Oh, I, I had an extra turn, didn't I? Whoops. I want to move more turns so we can get our surveyor in there, get our oil found out, and start cranking out some more oil over here. These are um, sites, relic sites for uh, for tourism and things. The Sengian Tourism Services collected information section that is suggesting that a minister, Adad, is using their position in government to secure lucrative contracts to their closest friends. Uh, expose him. He won't like me for that. I can reprimand him, or I can just let it go. Rule of law goes down, which the um, I think that's important with like the U.S., China, Russia. Um, no, we tell him he's bad, bad. Okay. Okay, he just isn't raising raising the approval with conservatives in Benifa. I got it. Okay, I'm, I'm working on it, buddy. Oh, oh, here we go. So in uh, Gaki, we have. Some some riots happening here. Just some angry people, basically. 20%, 21, they're not happy. Uh, 13. Hard to breathe the air here. Traffic jams. Yeah, they're very cranked, cranky around here. Uh, and uh, they may start... We may start seeing some uh, very grumpy folks with guns running around. Um, you, did you Excellency. do your thing? Okay, so do your, do your scan. Why can't you do it now? Did you already move? I've already moved. Very well. So you're gonna come over here. Oh, maybe I can on it. And do your do your survey, Excellency, buddy. Excellency, Excellency. Ah, oil. Okay, more oil it is. Come on. Where's my oil? Friend? There it is. Excellency. Okay, more oil. Let's get some roads built up to that thing. And uh, right by the military base. Just connect up. I don't care how you do it. It's kind of weird, but do that. Okay. And you know what? You get out of here. Okay. I'm going to send the military down to this town that's cranky just to make sure there's no oh, funny wait. business going around. We'll have, a, you know, enemy camps and things start popping up. We're going to keep those things under control. Uh, that's going to give us a lot of oil, though, and that should bump us up to... Oh, yeah, there we go. 10 to 24. Now we're making some cash. Now we're making 8 bucks thanks to our... Well, there's only 3 for oil. What's Where's the other 5 coming from? Maybe it's next turn. Fifteen bucks is coming in. We could certainly bump some things up around here to make people happy. This has been a long video, though. So we're going to call it a day here. So, let's do that. So thanks for watching. Excellency. This is coming out um, sometime early next year. This is a very early look at this one, so I'm sure things will change. Hopefully the... Um, um, it's, it's a little not... not, not the, uh, It's a little choppy sometimes. Um, but, uh, anyway. Let's call it a day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.